Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know you probably thought the day would never come, but it's finally here. I'm going to sell a few trucks. Time to thin the herd a little bit. I'm going to show you guys these trucks, ins and outs of them, so you know everything about them. So let's go dig into them. Hey everyone welcome back i got uh, three trucks to sell today and how it's going to work is i'm going to have a link in the description below and uh, for each truck and uh, if you're interested interested in a truck go ahead and hit that link and uh, it'll take you to a facebook marketplace listing where you can uh, check the pictures out and uh, uh, read the description of the truck and uh, contact me about buying one and uh, if you're watching this uh, weeks or months later and the, the link is dead, that means the truck is probably sold sadly. But uh, for you guys that uh, are hit that subscribe button and get notified whenever, whenever I post a video, you guys get the first shot at these trucks. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, walk around each one of them and uh, show you the ins and outs of them, things that are wrong with them, things that are good with them, so you guys can get a good look at them. Uh, better than just a few pictures on the uh, on a marketplace listing so uh, you guys are gonna have a real good look at these trucks so you know exactly what you're buying and uh, uh, I'm probably gonna uh, go over a few things that I haven't or I've already if you if you watch the other videos on these trucks I'm probably gonna go over some things again that you've already seen but uh, there's gonna be a lot of new viewers I'm, I'm suspecting so uh, I wanted to go uh, over everything on these trucks and not just uh, the stuff you guys haven't seen before so uh, if you are new to this channel this is the first video you're watching you might consider subscribing if you like these old trucks I have a lot of these uh, projects that we're working on and uh, have a good community of guys that uh, love these trucks and they, they watch the videos engage in the comments so it's great if uh, if you like these things consider subscribing and uh, you'll see more more of these trucks for sure but uh, I uh, if you're if you're interested in the other two trucks, I'm going to start off with this crew cab here, this 70 crew cab. If you're interested in the F600 four wheel drive, I'll have the uh, the, the timestamp here. You can jump ahead in the video and check those out if you're in, interested in those and want to skip skip these other trucks. So so right here, I'll have the uh, the timestamps for the video for those two trucks. If you're interested in those, you can jump ahead and check those out. But first, let's go check out this crew cab. Well, here's the crew cab. This is probably what most of you are here for. 70 crew cab it has a uh, interesting history and uh, I've made a couple videos on it for the channel I uh, it was just kind of a it popped up for sale and I went and bought it I didn't really have any plans for it so uh, since since I bought this one I bought another truck so uh, I think I'm going to do something with so we're going to sell this one just to to get out of here and free up some funds for another truck I got since uh, it's changed a little bit since the last time uh, my uh, viewers have seen it. I've taken the duels off and put uh, singles on the back. This is actually off of the uh, the truck I bought. It has, still has a dual front, duels in the front, but it has uh, 16 fives on the back. And I put this bed on it. But uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the bed a little later on. First, let's talk about the truck. The, uh, the frame is a 70 F350 crew cab. And I have a good, clean, clear title in my name for the frame and it matches the uh, the VIN number that's on the frame there the cab is in fact a 68 F250 cab I don't have the VIN number for it I kind of wish I did because uh, it's a uh, I believe a lunar green 68 250 which is pretty cool I like the lunar green trucks so uh, you can see some of the lunar green showing through the, the blue paint here But uh, it's titled as a 70 because it matches the frame, and that's where the VIN number is. The uh, the doors are off of a uh, 72 half ton Explorer, so that doesn't match the truck because these doors they're yellow, as you can see. The, the the door the doors front clip and hood came off of this 72. It's kind of a hodgepodge truck, but uh, the rear doors were original to the 70, I believe, because it has this orange paint here. There's a lot of this orange paint on the frame as well. So uh, I think these are original to the original truck. Whatever happened to it, if it got in a wreck or uh, or what, and they did they changed the cab out. 
that's kind of the history of the cab the uh, the way I know it's a 68 is uh, it has the the hood supports right here these were these were 67 and then like half of the year 68 or something like that part of the year in 68 and uh, it has the the uh, regular 68 to 72 heater control so it's not a 67 cab it's but it's 68 and uh, I guess I'll start diving into it so we'll start here at the front it does have some damage on the hood a little impact damage right here some right there and uh, this corner is pretty beat up got into the uh, grill and the this fender is wrinkled right there a little bit <clears throat> has this uh, pretty cool aftermarket grill guard on it it came out of texas by the way if you can tell by license plate nice uh, aftermarket grill guard it's in real good shape has a 300 in it this is what the uh, 70 came with 1970 crew cab so it has a, a 300 and it does run and drive uh probably a yard driver at best um Here's a few other things wrong with it uh, that I'll show you, but uh, it does it does run and drive and start. Over here, let's just see if I can get start. The battery battery is a little weak on it. Yeah. So it does start up. I did a little bit of work to it. I put a uh, carburetor on it, and uh, the donut gasket on the exhaust was leaking. I did that. It has a new starter on it. A little bit later, we'll uh, we'll take it around the yard and drive it a little bit for you guys. But uh, I put a new, I changed the fuel pump with a different one I had that works. The old one was leaking and uh, new master cylinder as well to get the brakes working. But uh, the uh, the engine, I guess I should have sold you the uh, oil pressure. Makes uh, makes pretty good oil pressure, about uh, 40 to 60. Let's see if it'll start again. Yeah, about 50 right there at idle. So. Uh, other than the damage up here, the front clip is in pretty good shape. There's a uh, little bit of rot showing up in the fenders here, which is pretty common. A little, little in the door there, not much. The doors are pretty good. Um, they did have trim holes in them, so it uh, looks like those were just bonded over and painted over. So uh, these door, these uh, door and fender had trim holes in it. But uh, the, the cab mounts are pretty toast, as you can see there. That one's actually not as bad as this one over here. Let me show you this one. There. Yeah. Unfortunately, the cab mounts are pretty toast, as well as the floors. The the, the guy I bought it from, he had put some uh, some sheet metal in the floors to uh, so you could drive it. The uh, cab support there is rusted a little bit. The, uh, the crew cab section of the floor is pretty good. It's even got some of the red oxide primer on it still. There's some rot right there. And a little bit right on the, uh, right there, if you can see it on the step well for the, the rear doors. And while we're down here, there's some right here. And uh, that rear door has a little bit right there. And up here on this door has some right there. And the fender, of course. This rear door over here, it's got a little bit on this corner here, and the cab corners have some rust in them. So it uh, it is not free of rust, that is for sure. Another thing, uh, it's, it has the, the rust in the roof that a lot of crew cabs have. There's the worst of it right there. Give you a shot, there's a few pinholes showing up right here. Looks all good back here show you the other side unfortunately these crew cabs like the rust in the roof so if you find one that doesn't have rust it's a it's a good find don't see any there there's a little bit showing up right there there's some right here for sure right there 
there is there is a repair right here previously i don't know if it was a dent or what but there's some bondo looks looking stuff right there but uh, this side looks a little better than the other side although there is going to be some rust under that the uh this floor i didn't show you but this floor has some sheet metal under it too but uh it works good enough to drive it there is some rust in the rockers on this truck as well it's a little bit right there this side looks pretty good here's this b pillar looks like it has some bondo stuff in it so there's probably some rust under that not gonna lie to you there's some bondo flaking out right there There's a hole in that door, but it doesn't appear to be rust. Rust in this rocker right there. There's a hole in that step well right here as well. A little bit of rust right there. Let's go show you the rocker on the other side. It's a pretty significant hole right there and right there. And this, this rocker looks good, with the exception of maybe right there. I don't know. Looks pretty good. The, uh, the inside of the doors under here, they're not rusted out. Just those few spots on the outside on the corners. Not terrible. The, uh, there is some damage right here and on the other side as well. So I don't know what that's from. If it was a bed or something on here that was hitting that or jackknife a trailer or something there's the the back of the cab mount or the cab corner right there is a little rusted out uh, the uh, the cab bushings are squished out and it's setting on the frame you see that side it's setting on the frame there so it doesn't need new cab bushings for sure and uh, this cab was originally a 250 so it had inboard cab mounts right there's one of the holes for them and right here's the other one uh, this 350 frame has outboard cab mounts, so they they uh, use these cab mounts for that. And uh, the fuel the fuel tank hold down plates are just bolted in with these that hold the fuel tank in. Since it was a 250, a little bit better shot of the underside here for you guys. There's that hole. You can see the other side over there a little bit. It's it's not free of rust. One thing I forgot to mention, the cab uh, brace, the floor brace over there is uh, is in good shape. Uh, this one is rusted out right there, but uh, the one over there is in good shape at least. The bed, since we're, we're under here, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, the bed, bed rails are good, not rusted out. So it does have the auxiliary fuel, fuel right here. Looks like it was dealer added because this hole was just torched out with a torch, but it does have does have that and the piece in the bed. There's that piece in the bed there. The the bed floor is uh, pretty rough. Looks like it had some junk sitting in it or a, a mat or something on it that let moisture under it and rotted. Uh, some of the bed holes are, are messed up from getting the bed off of this truck. And another thing with this bed is... Uh, it fits the wheelbase because these trucks had a eight foot bed on them instead of nine foot like regular 350s but i had a problem with bolting it down i was going to bolt it down but the the toolbox this hasn't uh the toolbox and it's hitting that spring hanger right there i couldn't move it back far enough to get to the bolt holes it's about an inch too far forward so uh what i decided to do there since it's not bolted down was uh the the be buyer's choice on the bed if they if they want the bed if not i'll take a couple hundred bucks off the price if you don't want the bed and uh we'll go from there since you know if it it, it could be modified to be mounted on there i just didn't want to do it i didn't want to you could put a dent in that toolbox or you could drill new holes uh, i just thought i would leave that up to the buyer what they wanted to do but uh, i will sell it with that bed or without if the buyer was wanting to put a flat bed or something on it and uh you know just kind of leave it up to whoever whoever buys it what they want to do it doesn't have a tailgate and it has a has a dent right there so not a perfect bed but it uh, it works as a bed for sure 
There's the carpet in the rear, which is, I don't think is factory carpet, but it does have the seal plates there. And the uh, missing the headliner, but it does have this piece here, which is the, uh, the crew cab extension piece, I don't know what you call it. It does have those pieces, and this piece right here is missing, but it's the same as a uh, regular cab. So I uh, just need this piece here. It's from a regular cab, but these, these pieces here are the important ones. They're the crew cab ones. It's missing the bow in the middle and uh, the headliner, obviously. Here's the gauge cluster. I put, uh, I put a new lens in it because the old one, you couldn't see any of it, and uh, none of the gauges work. The uh, speedometer works, and uh, it's got power going to it, but none of the gauges work. I think there is a lot of uh, wiring done to this truck. Uh, like, you know, it has this aftermarket oil pressure gauge, maybe because that one quit working or something. And uh, this light right here runs the dome light in the back instead of the, this one right here doesn't do it. But th this light works, the lights work. And uh, I don't think I tried the wipers, but uh, um, yeah, wipers work. Mm -hmm. Let's see, carpet, got carpet in here. Um, another thing that's wrong with this truck is the pin is broke on the on the transmission. Let me just go ahead and show you if I can get it off here. What I was gonna do was, uh, we have a couple of T18s transmit, this is a T18 by the way, but that right there, uh, top of the transmission is broke where the pin goes and that keeps the gear shift from spinning. So now it can just spin right that's broke uh, you can use it you can drive it but it's kind of annoying once you get the hang of it it's kind of easy but uh, I was going to take uh, pull this carpet up and pull the transmission cover up and you can replace the, the shift tower on this thing the top piece and just replace that off another transmission we had without pulling everything that's what I was going to do but uh, since I bought the other truck another truck I don't have time to work on this one uh, the original carburetor is in here well, not original. It was an aftermarket one, but uh, the choke wasn't working on it, and uh, it wasn't wanting to idle very good. So I just went ahead and got a new carburetor for it that runs a lot better. I have the uh, mortar report here. I got it just because I like I like seeing it on these old trucks, these crew cabs especially, and 1135 with crew cab option. So there's the mortar report, and uh, I have a, a good good uh, screenshot of that in the for sale listing if you want to go check out that and study it so uh yeah that's the interior i guess here's a look at those mirrors pretty good pretty good mirrors i was going to take them off just because uh uh you know always like having good mirrors around for projects but i think uh i think they'll need to go with this truck they look pretty good on there Nice good shape. It does have cab lights and uh, a couple of the cab lights are broke and that one's missing or they're different. So it's not a big deal. Those are pretty easy to find. So yeah, I'm trying to think of some other stuff to show you guys on this thing. Uh, I, it does have disc brakes. I guess I should show you that. It has front disc brakes, which is not on the option list of the truck. So I don't know if it was added or what. And I don't think this truck was a dually from uh, from uh, the beginning so the the dualies have specific uh, rotors different rotors and uh, so this would have uh, the dually rotors on it but it has disc brakes and they work pretty good here's a shot of that sheet metal that guy put on there it's uh the floors kind of got some holes in it under that so it's not very good shape in these floor pans But anyway, that's the truck. We might uh, we might go take it for a drive, just so you can guys see that it runs and drives. It wouldn't take much work, and you could just drive this thing and enjoy it as is. Bolt the bed down, uh, get the rear tail lights working, and uh, you'd have to get the the fuel gauge doesn't work. Fix the fuel gauge, but it is pulling from the tank. I got fuel in the tank running from the tank. And uh, the blink, the blinkers are a little sensitive. You might want to put a blinker switch in it, and you could just drive it as is and enjoy it. So uh, let's see if I can get this thing started. The battery's probably dead now that I started it a few times, and uh, we'll go drive it around the yard a little bit. 
Well guys, I did have to jump it, but we uh, got it up and running. So uh, here's that gear lever. It goes back and forth, but you can twist it over. There's the first gear. First gear is not really usable. There's second gear. It does have power steering, and the power steering works great, so that's a positive. Well, there you have it guys that's our 1970 f-350 crew cab we have for sale um if you're if you're wondering how much i want for it go ahead and follow that link in the description below and and uh, uh that uh, for sale listing and check out the pictures and i'll have a price right there i don't want to mention the price in the video because i might change it i might go down you know if it doesn't sell i might lower the price some so uh go ahead and hit follow that link and uh, check it out and you'll find the price there whatever the most recent price is if that link is dead or missing that means the truck is sold unfortunately so you're a little too slow but uh, if that link is up and the, the listing is available the truck is available so go ahead and hit that up and uh, we can chat about it let's go check out some of these other trucks we have for sale well next up for sale we have our uh, 60 76 i believe it is i think it's 76 uh f600 factory four-wheel drive truck it's uh, a little beat up but uh it is a factory full drive F600. As you can see here, F66 on the VIN. That will tell you that. Hey guys, one quick thing while we're talking about the VIN on this truck that I forgot to mention in the video. Unfortunately, we do not have a title for this truck, so we don't have a title to send with it. But uh, check your state's uh, rules and regulations on uh, titles, and usually you can apply for a title and get one. So just wanted to point that out. We don't have a title for this one, sadly. And uh, this truck... We got it uh, just for parts for our other F600 full-wheel drive truck and uh, got uh, got one of the hubs off of the front end, so one of those is bad, but uh, the, uh, the one that's bad we put back on there. So uh, it needs something there to drive the axle for the full-wheel drive to work. But other than that, it is complete. There's the power steering ram, the big Rockwell front axle. It's all there. Was a uh, was a silage bed had a silage bed on it when we got it. it. Was used as a farm truck before that. I think it was a Conoco oil field truck. Here's the interior. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's not rusted out at least. Oklahoma truck. Let's show you the inside here. Here's the F600 gauges. It has the uh, the uh, bump side dash in it. The uh, F600 trucks, even though they're dent sides, they still have the bump side dash in them, which is kind of interesting. Kind of a Ford thing to do. Here's the uh, the uh, sticks for the four-wheel drive. You got twin sticks. This one's two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, and this one's high and low. Five-speed transmission has a single-speed rear axle because uh, can't have a dual dual uh, speed rear axle with the front axle so that would kind of get tricky so they're, they're just a single speed rear axle These, this is kind of cool it has the uh, four wheel drive instructions on the glove box I thought that was pretty cool it has a Ford Ford uh, uh, logo on it a Ford part number down here 
and then uh, Continental Oil Company, that's that's Conoco. So that's a uh, Conoco sticker from when it was an oil filled truck. And then it has this Warren Hub uh, sticker, which uh, I don't I don't know uh, I don't know if that would have been original to the truck because they're, the hubs on them aren't worn. But uh, either way, it's pretty neat that that's there still, even though it's in poor condition. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the inside of the truck. Here's the here's the owner's manual. It's been a little uh, a lunch for some rodent, but uh, the owner's manual's there. And I think these are actually even uh, lease papers for uh, when it was an oil filled truck. Kind of a map to get to where they're going in the oil lease. I found those back behind the seat. It has a, a tack on it too, which is cool. A uh, distributor driven tachometer. Other than that, pretty standard in here. Kind of, kind of a little used up. But the bones are good, as they would say. Give you a shot underneath here. There's the brake booster. Frame's in really good shape. It has been extended right here. This has been extended out the back. There's the, uh, the rear end. It's got the big blocks in it to raise it up. And the uh, big rock well. I think that's a T2, uh, T223. I should have looked it up before I started the video. A big old rock well transfer case. It is divorced. Much like a high boy. But it is passenger side drop. Like a Chevy or a Dodge. There's the big rock well axle up there. And there's the big linkages for the shifter. These pretty cool old trucks. Uh, you don't see many F600 four-wheel drives. But uh, this one is a uh, um, little poorer condition than uh, the other one we have. So I think we're just getting rid of it to get it out of our way. Here's the uh, steering linkages there for the front end. Uh, the engine is a 361, I believe. It's got a four barrel holly on it. There's that uh, tachometer drive distributor I was talking about. Um, I believe we are taking the wet kit off of this. So the, uh, the hydraulic system here, I think we're taking that off of that. So uh, I don't think it'll sell with that, but uh, it has the, uh, the uh, washer fluid bag there, which is kind of cool. It's kind of a shot under here. Battery box is kind of rotted out. It's pretty common. A bad battery or something but uh, I believe this engine is locked up we haven't really done any work to it um, we didn't uh, I think the spark plugs are even pulled out of it yeah the spark plugs are pulled out of it when we got it I think they were probably trying to get it turn over and uh, we didn't even mess with it but uh, it is a 361 so it have a forged crank if you're interested in that even though it's a 360 crank instead of a 390 crank but anyway you could put any old FE engine in there. That's not a big deal. This fender's kind of a little tore up. They put a little mud flap there. But anyway, that's this truck. Um, I'll have uh, pictures and everything in this for the listing. Detailed pictures and uh, description. Back behind the seat, there's some more junk. There's the fuel tank. But anyway, that's this truck here. Uh, like I said, uh, not posting a price just because that might change. So uh, check the listing. Check the listing in the description of this video for the most updated price. If that if that uh, link in the description doesn't work, the uh, truck is probably sold. So just a heads up. But I'll have a link in the description for uh, for the for sale listing for this truck. You can check out pictures and get a hold of me if you're interested. Interested and uh, we can get her loaded on the trailer. She's not gonna drive home, but uh, I can push it on the trailer for you. Cool old truck. Next up here we have our uh, 68 uh, short bed F100. We bought this truck for the bed uh, for our crew cab high boy project and we ended up using the doors too. So um, 
these doors and this bed are off of that crew cab and uh, we ended up using a hood off of this one and uh, here's the hood that we were going to use for that one so uh, that gives you kind of the the general idea of why why it looks the way it does it uh, we do have all the front clip it's in the bed no engine transmission on this truck no title as well we don't have a title on this one but it does have uh, disc brakes put on the front with new rotors and there's new calipers in the bed or in the cab so there's some disc brakes on there power steering gear it's uh, manual brakes, but there is a booster in there. All this has been kind of cleaned up and painted. The uh, cab mounts are a little rusty, but it did come with replacement cab mounts and they'll come with this truck. Here's a shot at that other cab mount. It's not great, not terrible. Windshield is cracked. Uh, there's a chip right there They put a new uh, previous owner put a new seal in it and cracked the windshield right here Which is unfortunate, but is what it is Let's See, Get this thing open We should have all the guts for everything in here For the doors these do these doors just bare shell. They are uh, sandblasted and primed with weld through primer ready to be fixed Here's the inside. Real nice dash pad for uh, for this truck. No cracks. Real real slick dash pad. Um, wood grain instrument cluster. Here's the uh, kind of the guts to the the doors. There's the locks. There's the window. Uh, window cranks. The regulators are over there. There's the door panels. Here's the uh, here's the brake calipers. New pads and new. Uh, there's new uh, line, brake lines as well in there. Here's the uh, the cab mounts that come with it. Hood hinges. All this extra stuff in here that come with it. This truck actually had special paint, and it's this green stuff. I don't know what, what uh, if it was just somebody that ordered the green or if it was a, some kind of fleet truck. But it has that cool green paint job. That was a special order. Not a factory color paint. The uh, the cab is a 68, I believe, 69. I have a Marty report. We'll go check the Marty report out. Here's the bed, uh, short bed. It has the uh, the hole for the auxiliary fuel tank. Um, the uh, has some damage right there that was repaired. And there's a little bit of rust on the uh, the inner pieces of the bed right there. show you that that right there there was a blowout on a tire that, that bowed up right there this side there's some more of that rust and this is a weld through primer as well ready to uh, start doing rust repair on it there's that one sandblaster ate up that one pretty good and uh, let's see not much damage on this side you got these holes here to fix Here's the fenders. This fender is a reproduction, uh, new reproduction, so it's all good. And there is a, a green fender here that uh, doesn't have any rust in it. Right here, has got a little bit right there, little bitty, little bitty pinhole. But a couple of good fenders. There's the core support, inner fenders, and uh, see, there's the uh, what are they, rock deflector, whatever they call that and uh, bumper and here's a uh, grill it's actually a 70 to 70 or 72 grill you know with the plastic inserts but it does come with that grill and the hood the hood is rust free uh it has some dents in it uh quite a few just love you know dents and stuff love taps on it it is a 67 hood if you care about that sort of thing one year only hood but it's it's a rust-free hood, so it's a good one to start with. Has this uh, power antenna that was added at some point. Here's a better shot of that antenna. 
the uh, there's a little bit of rust in the floors, just a little bit. Here's the uh, mortar report for this this truck. It was sold in Oklahoma City. Uh, another interesting thing, it had factory shoulder harnesses. And it was one of only 371 trucks with factory shoulder front shoulder harnesses. So uh, it's pretty cool. They're not here anymore, sadly. Someone uh, put some uh, like 78, 79 uh, uh, shoulder harnesses in it. So the original ones aren't here, sadly. It's kind of wishing they were, but uh, his special paint. Pretty basic truck, shoulder harnesses, as the heavy duty front and rear springs, and 750 16 tires. 650 16 tires. Those were the options. Had it originally came with a 240. Not much, uh, kind of a bare bones, short bed. And we also have the the VIN plate from, from Marty right here that matches this VIN since we didn't have one. There's the uh, new VIN plate. So uh, once you sort the title, you'll have a uh, VIN plate to match the title. Shouldn't be too hard to get a title. These older trucks, uh, it's usually a lot easier to get a title. I've had some that we've got titles for. Let me give you a shot underneath the truck here. Yeah, the underside's actually pretty good. A little bit of rust there in the back of the cab corner. The uh, support, the floor supports there are in good shape. So yeah, it's a pretty decent truck to start with, I think. Be a good project truck. There's some damage on this door here. Like I said, those uh, front cab cab mounts are, aren't any good, but uh, yeah, it'd be a fun little project truck. Disc brakes already already on it with new ports. Got a short bed that needs a little work, but uh, if you just wanted a cheap project truck, this would be it. So uh, there'll be a uh, link in the description for this truck if you want to check it out with pictures in the description. And uh, if the listing, if the link is no good or if the link is gone, that means the truck is sold, sadly. So, that's a good walk around of this truck. And again, no title. So, uh, you have to source your own title. We don't have one. And uh, I can push it on the trailer for you. Has a real nice uh, hitch bumper on the back, too, as well. But anyway, guys, uh, check this truck out in the description if, you are, uh, if you're interested in it. Hey guys, thanks for watching and checking out a few trucks we have for sale. If you're inter interested in any of them, look at those links in the description and hit me up and uh, we can chat about them. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like these kind of trucks, trucks like this one here, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have lots more projects for this truck and a few others coming up on the channel. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that. Hit this like button if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.